This is storming the castle. As you can see, it's a 12 foot wall, flat, straight up, where the team has to work together to help each other over the wall, one person at a time, or many people at a time if they can, but even the last person left on the ground still has to make it over. So there's a lot of teamwork, a lot of upper and lower body strength involved in getting up and over the wall, a lot of coordination. Any certain materials that, re that you require within the wall itself? So uh, for this event, safety materials are a consideration. So everybody's wearing a helmet and we do require that we have extra people um, acting as spotters on both sides of the activity at, at any time when there are people climbing the wall. Uh, how many staff members do you require to run the station? As far as staff goes, it's just one staff member explaining what needs to happen, explaining the rules. But then from there, the staff members step back. All of the, all of the participants are supposed to be doing all the work, including providing the spotters. And so they're, they're you know, providing safety help for their own team. Uh, any training or uh, certifications that the boys or leaders or the... Uh, are there any certifications that you need to go on the station? No. No? Any training for the boys? Uh, I mean, other than, you know, the, the, the boys that are on staff here at working the outpost, we let them do it once so they could see what's required to make it happen. But again, since, you know, it's a team building activity, the staff is very hands off, you know, very mouth shut. And so, you know, even though they know how to do it, they're not explaining it. So there's not really even that much of a training need at all.